Hey everybody, this is Design Vlog 3 for, uh, for Jade Punk. <laughs> Sorry, uh, it's been a crazy week. Um, we, Ryan and I, uh, got together and discussed big changes to the setting. Um, we also discussed a, a few other things uh, that'll come up. But yeah, the big, the big issue is the setting is now different. It's I, I think it's a lot stronger now. Uh, the focus prior to this our focus in the setting was kinda diffuse. Um, we, we were kinda going at loggerheads without realizing it. Uh, where he was going one way with the with the setting and I was going another way with the setting and uh, all of the helpful hints and critiques people gave us online were very useful in helping us figure out you know what what we were doing uh, and what we needed to do to make this actually work and so the focus is a lot focus is a lot narrower now on what we're trying to do with the setting and what we're trying to do with the game itself and I think I think it's going to be better overall uh, when we're done. Uh, another big, uh, big piece of news is that if we fund, we are doing a Cortex Plus and we're doing a Dungeon World hack. Um, I think, yeah, yeah. Um, there are still going to be uh, stretch goals. Hey, I remembered the word stretch goals. Uh, I'm smart with my brain, um, but <laughs> there's still going to be stretch goals, uh, mainly uh, things to expand the setting, extra adventures, that sort of thing, but we've decided that the the extra hacks are, are as PDFs anyway, are going to be uh, released if we, if we fund, pretty much no matter what. Uh, which is which is exciting. Um, I actually tend to write more on the lines of an apocalypse engine game than other games. I, I like lists. Uh, <laughs> I'm a big fan of lists. Uh, not numbered lists, because numbers have all kinds of meaning in and of themselves, but lists are very useful in just kind of narrowing the focus of, of what you're doing and, and kind of working it out. Um, uh, on to my, my design work. Uh, I sent in the first almost 2,000 words of the GM section uh, last night. Um, I'm not... I had writer's block. I mean, it's not really writer's block because I had loads of ideas for other things. I just was kind of drawing a blank as to how to arrange it. Uh, I, I must have sat in front of the in front of the page for something like two, three hours just staring at it, trying to figure out what to write. Uh, when it comes to setting and and things like that, I can write all day long, but apparently when it comes to procedures and something like that, then it becomes more difficult. So I, I think there's going to be a lot of revisions on the GM section as I wrote it. Uh, I hope there are because, again, as I said, I'm not entirely happy with how it turned out, and so I'm going to keep working on that, and and we'll see. Uh, we'll see. It's not bad. Uh, Ryan seemed happy with it, so that's cool. Um, again, it, he, he said it needs revisions, which I, I agree with, <laughs> but. Uh, so uh, we'll uh, we'll keep working on that, and I sent in the rough draft of my outline for chapter four, which is uh, life in the city, kind of you know, kind of slice of life stuff. This is universal symbol for slice of life. I've decided. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that was that was a lot easier. It deals with. Uh, the organizations in the city, the religions in the city, architecture, uh, food, how
how the different cultures interact, that sort of thing. So it's a lot of stuff I really dig. Um, I'm uh, I'm really into all of that sort of thing, and so it's 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 very fun to be able to play with it. Uh, the hard part is going to be keeping it within the framework of the word count I've been given. So um, I'm actually most excited uh, about the food section. Uh, which is weird, because if, if you know me, and most of you don't, so that's fine, but <laughs> if you know me, I'm like the pickiest eater on earth. I, I only like five foods, and so, uh, but what I, what I don't like in life is, is not what I like in fiction. In fiction, I love, uh, I love those kinds of setting details, you know, the, well, I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of the Red Wall books, and if you've read the descriptions of food there, they're a little excessive, but they make foods I know I hate into something that I might want to try simply by using the right words. And so I, I really would like to play with the culture's foods and the culture's architecture because I, uh, well, I, I, I love architecture. It's, it's very evocative and very, uh, very distinct based on technology and needs and so with the technology and with the needs of the area I can then look at also the needs of the other cultures and, and how that all interacts and so we can get a really interesting looking city uh, for Kausa City. Um, trying to think of what else. Uh, that's about it I guess for this. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, again there's a thread on RPG Net. There's uh, our comment section in the in the Kickstarter itself. There's Ryan's website. There's uh, my website. Uh, let us know what you think. Let us know what you think we need. Any critiques you see, let us know. We want to know. Um, and uh, also, if you haven't yet, let everybody you know know about the Kickstarter. Um, if you like it, tell your friends. If you hate it, tell your enemies. You know. <laughs> so. Um, Yep, yeah, that's it for this week's vlog. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you probably in a couple days.